Hello, everyone. This is Sean from Tech Data. Today, I want to introduce you how to build a RAJ demo for your customer using IBM Watson X. Before we dive into uh, the development, let's quickly go through the typical RAJ process. It starts with a user to ask questions. Then we'll take that question, go to knowledge base, and search, retrieve uh, the relevant content. Then we will augment the question, use our retrieval result. That is uh, augment part. And we will do this uh, retrieval and search using Watson Discovery, and we'll augment the retrieval result and questions using Watson X Assistant. Then we send this to large language model, which will be WatsonX.ai in our demo. Then we'll get response. All right, let's see how we can develop this process very easily uh, in Watson X. Uh, as an IBM partner, we can leverage IBM Tech Zone to easily reserve the service we need. The one I I have here is for Watson X Assistant discovery with Watson X.ai. Okay, just fill the form and submit the reservation. In a few minutes, we will have this uh, essential service we need uh, in our IBM Cloud. Uh, we will start with Watson Discovery. So if we go to Watson Discovery, this is a landing page. Then we launch Watson Discovery here we will create a new project which will host all our files as knowledge base. Give it a name, RAJ demo, pick document retrieval, uh, next. Then we will select a data source uh, to upload our data. We can upload the local data in different formats. Uh, we can also to connect to your existing knowledge base. Um, in this demo, we'll use this uh, web crawl. So this one, we will give the link or URL for your knowledge um, data. Um, we can use this IBM annual report as an example. Copy this URL. Um, go back to um, Watson Discovery. Okay, we can add more as well. Since um, this is an annual report, we have some tables and images in the document. For the processing, I will open this OCR to get more content. Then finish. Uh, the Watson discovery will start um, process the document. Uh, it may take a few minutes for this one document. It's 100 pages. Uh, while we are waiting, we can continue to set up WatsonX.ai. So that one, will, you will go to WatsonX and create a new project as well. Um, in WatsonX, we don't need to do any development or coding. We just need to set up the environment and get the information we need for the uh, future configuration in Watson Assistant. We'll start a new project. The first thing we need to do is to um, to associate a service, which is machine learning service. That is where we can get the large language model uh, interface. Here we have this machine learning service. This is also provisioned by uh, IBM Taxo. After we've done this, and uh, that's it. Uh, we'll come back here later for our um, information. The next thing we need to do is to um, uh, access WatsonX.ai. We will need to create an API key um, in IBM Cloud. To do that, we'll go back to IBM, IBM Cloud and under um, Manage Access. Then we'll create an API key to access WatsonX.ai. So API key, create. Okay. 
then we can download and this one can okay, we'll come back later for this information then uh, we can move to um, set up Watson assistant that is a place we integrate with Watson discovery and Watson x.ai also to uh, create the chatbot for this demo uh, after we launch Watson assistant we will leverage a predefined um, action to do this. For, first of all, we need to create a new uh, assistant, create assistant. And within this uh, new assistant, we will upload a predefined um, JSON file that have all the actions we need for uh, RAJ. We'll go to setting upload this action and this one is available uh, in IBM github I will provide the link in the description later upload okay let's have a look for now we have three actions each of this action you can consider is a sequence of um, a question note or sequence of logic note um, to handle user questions. And each of them can map to RAJ as well. Search will map to retrieval. Generate answers will map to the generation. Uh, this one invoke was an X will map into the augment. Now we also notice there is a um, uh, status show missing extensions. And the extensions will be the one we use to integrate it uh, with Watson Discovery and Watson X.AI. To do that, we'll go to uh, ex integrations and find these extensions. We will build a customized um, extension use open API file. So open API file is basically um, an API definition uh, to tell uh, Watson Assistant how to communicate uh, with Watson X.AI and Watson uh, Discovery. We will upload this open API file. Again, it's available. I'll share the link in the video expression, uh, description. Okay, next, uh, we'll go finish. Now, after we have this uh, open API file upload, we need to add um, this extension to Watson Assistant. Basically, we'll give the credentials. Uh, for example, here we go next, authentication. Uh, here we'll pick the customer, cust API key, the API key we need to provide it uh, will be the one we created before um, in IBM Cloud. So that one I downloaded, just grab that. Okay, API key. Next, we are good for Watson X.AI. We'll do the same for Watson Discovery. Quickly set it set up. Next, upload open API file. Then um, add Watson Discovery extensions. For um, Watson Discovery, this authentication will be a basic authentication. Username will be API K, and the password will go back to Watson Discovery here. Copy this API K. That will be the password. And for this um, URL, we need to give this discovery URL. 
that is under here, you can see, we'll copy it. Uh, we only need this part. Copy this. Go back to update this server variable. Okay, next, finish. Now we have these two extensions. Let's check our actions again. Looks like we have them uh, right. Status is gray. Um, one more thing we need to do is to provide the project ID. That is how um, uh, the Watson assistant know where the document is in Watson discovery. So project ID will go back to uh, Watson discovery. That is under uh, integrate and deploy API information, we copy, we update this one, save. Another project ID will be a Watson X project ID. Um, same idea, we go back to Watson X, then under uh, manage general, have project ID, update this, save. Okay, now we can try to testing. Um, before that, we can quickly see if the document we have in uh, Discovery is available. That looks like it's available now. We can quickly search for the IBM 2022 performance. Um, here we can see the research result from our Watson discovery. Then we will uh, go back to the chatbot and ask a simple question. Summarize IBM 2022 uh, performance. What we expecting will be, um, this is easy uh, answer based on the document. There's already a good summary. We'll just check, we'll return the same or very similar. Now we'll go through the search R and invoke uh, the invoke was X, which is augment. Then we'll go to the generate answers. So RAJ process. Then we have this response. Um, sure, I can help you based on the document. Uh, here is this um, response. Quickly check the number looks good and we also give the reference for the user to further uh, check then maybe try a more difficult question uh, for example what is ibm revenue in 2021 so this uh, 2021 revenue information only existing in the table, uh, not in the text. So let's say if the discovery can capture that information, we have this response, quickly check in the document. Uh, here, 2021 revenue, that's good. And we can see um, this number only existing in the table. That's good. We can not only capture the content from the um, text, also from this uh, table within the PDF files. Um, for customer faced view, we can make it, we can um, skip all these details, just give the response as we have here as a preview and do some configuration as well. This is a demo. Uh, 